Hey there, guys. Got this one done versus Rex Raptor. So, uh, yeah. Basically, just gonna finish it here, and we'll try to get a three in a row on something here. So. Okay. Great man with the gold find. Tune someone's school promoted. All right. Let's see here. To it, King Rex. Okay, yeah, he does have a couple of those in the in the uh, graveyard slots. So let me see here. Ooh, missed him by one. Oh man, I was close though. I was close. Yeah, I was close both times. Missed the other one by one too. It's all good. All good. All right. Okay. So that gives us, uh, we're at 127 in total duels. Okay, um, uh, well, yeah, let's do what I said at the, uh, you know, a little toward the end of, uh, my last episode. Uh, let's face panic, but to do that, I need to make sure I have the captain deck leader. Yeah, let's, uh, let's face panic a couple times. See if we can get him to play the Yami card. Man, man, we, like, I remember, uh... Yeah, I remember we got so lucky on the first uh, the first time we played him, and he played the Yami card like right away, and I was like, "Oh man, yeah, he never does that." And like, yeah, since he done that, I mean, yeah, it it is a little like I don't know. He seems to, of course, prioritize playing you know a lot of trap cards. Of course, you know a lot more than playing uh, interesting hand. A lot more than playing. Um, you know, his, uh, his, uh, Yami Field card, of course, so, yeah, and, like, I mean, I guess you could always just, you know, run over a bunch of cards and, you know, go for that, but, yeah, it, it is a little hard to get him to play, to play, uh, his field card, so, that's what you've seen. We really got nothing going on here, but uh, I'm pushing these forward anyway. Okay. I'm assuming he's got a couple traps back there, so let's move uh, Tears of the Mermaid in. Okay, Shadow Spell. That wouldn't be too bad of a card to win either, honestly. Okay. And as far as what we'll play this turn, uh, <laughs> yeah, again, we still don't really. I mean, I could move forward and try to attack with Aki Hiran. I'm pretty sure he's got a trap though, so let's just try to block him in here as much as possible, honestly. Uh, sure, I'll move forward. There's no way he can, you know, he can go through all that and attack us directly, so. Okay. Alright, let's see if this card right here is a trap. Uh, let's see what I draw here. Hmm. Let's send, uh, let's actually send Ogre Grotto in. Yeah, because Tears of the Mermaid is still there, so let's send Ogre Grotto in and see if that is a trap. Uh, right there. Okay, it is, yeah. I figured, I figured. But it should be safe. I mean, you might be worried because this card has zero attack. But, uh, yeah, Tears of the Mermaid is here, so, yeah, we can, like... Yeah, we can move right here and overwrite it with something next turn. Or Tears of the Mermaid can protect it. Either way, we're good. Um, let's see. Maybe I should move this way, though. Yeah, maybe I should, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Man, it's crazy. Doing pretty good in this one. Still, he still hasn't really played any monster. Time Seal. Is that going to be on Rock Ogre? No, that's on Electric Lizard. Okay. That's a giant red flag. There's no way Electric Lizard is the strongest monster on this field. Uh, in case you don't know what Time Seal does, yeah, permanently spell binds monster with the highest attack. So, and there's no way that's Electric Lizard, so that just tells me this is a trap for sure. Um, that in mind, let's... Yeah, with that in mind, let's move something over there. Um... Well, I'll just block the zone for now, um, and maybe, 
yeah, next turn I'll move it in case we need to override it. So, Tomazaras. Yeah, I don't have a trap protecting this one though, so we'll defend right there. Rocco Bearer is free now. Okay, and he's finally going to summon a monster. Ooh, pretty powerful monster. Good thing we got Tears of the Mermaid there. What you got? Reaper? Oh! 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 Good move. Wow. I forgot he had this card. So there's a reason our trap didn't work, but I'll show you guys after the battle here. Holy smokes! Wow, he just took our monster's soul right there. This could be pretty bad. Oh my. <laughs> well, I thought things were going good until he did that. Um, so yeah, check this out. Um, yeah, your trap card didn't work. Reaper of the cards. There are some cards like this in this game. Able to move and attack without triggering an opponent's trap. Limited range. Yeah, that's crazy. So that's why Tears of the Mermaid didn't work there. That's crazy. That was a good move, though. Oh, Destiny Draw. So I really haven't explained... Holy crap, that's a good one. I haven't really explained this, but uh, Destiny Draw, yeah, this can happen. Like, in certain situations, if your, uh, if your life points are, you know, pretty critically low... And depending on, you know, high, how high you've leveled up to your deck leader, um, yeah, you can Destiny draw, like, and this is Raigeki, yeah, doesn't really work the same way uh, Raigeki works in the normal game, but uh, honestly, it's pretty good here. Um, so I think the best thing I can do is, uh, let's move Tomazars here and activate this trap. Uh -huh. Okay, that's fine. And I think what I'll do, uh, we still got Electric Lizard here. Um, I think I'll just overwrite Raigeki, and we'll get rid of that right away, yeah. So, overwrite Tomazars. Bye-bye. And let's see Raigeki in action, guys. Here we go, Destiny Draw, baby. And there you go. So, like, yeah, keep in mind, you know, if you do get a Destiny Draw like that, uh, keep in mind, uh, where you activate Raigeki. Basically, you don't want to take out your own monsters. It's so weird that in this game, yeah, Raigeki can't take out your own monsters, um, but, uh, yeah, but, uh, it can also take out the opponent's monsters, when normally, like, all it does is destroy, you know, um, yeah, it destroys your opponent's monsters. Um, okay, something I think I'll do here, which I definitely feel okay doing since we're in the forest. Um, let me move here. I'll actually move my leader right here. Because Tear should... Well, unless he has another um, Reaper of the Cards, Tear should protect us. And the fact that we're in the forest terrain should mean Akihira is safe here. So we'll get a little direct attack in. Man, <laughs> that, that was crazy, though. And he powered, he powered his Reaper with uh, two power-ups, too. Which, uh, yeah, definitely... Yeah, he, he... That was a great move by Darkness Roller there. Oh, and he stayed in the forest. That's kind of a mistake, honestly. Um, okay, so he's got 1,800 life points left. Unfortunately, nothing I have can kill him. Uh, can I fuse for anything? Well, actually, maybe we can finish him off. Okay, Tears of the Mermaid, go. Oh, that's a monster, okay. Well, let's attack. Okay, it's Neck Hunter, okay, wow. Well, I think we've won, and uh, we're gonna defeat this guy by pinning him in, actually. Alright, Aki here on. Oh, man. Yeah, what a play there, though, with Reaper of the Cards. That was crazy, man. Alright. Close one. Close, close call. Alright. Do, 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 do. Yeah, now that that monster's gone, we can move our leader here. And then we can, um, 
<laughs> what, what should I give uh, points to? You know what? Fury Seeking is in some other decks. So let's just tackle that. Yeah. Again, this won't win, but the fact that we've got him pinned in uh, means we'll basically get the checkmate. So, yeah. All right. And with that, let's end the turn. Man, what a crazy duel. Uh, but ultimately, that's what you want to do. That's, um, that's definitely why you want to chase him into the corner of the forest, if you can. Because as you saw, like, uh, his fiend monsters, like his neck hunter, will be, uh, uh, decreased, actually. So, really on that one, we're lucky he ran to the, uh, forest corner, ultimately. Um, oh, Mesmeric Control, that's a good trap card. Uh, there are plenty of traps here, so let's try to win some. Okay. Even for Shadow Spell there. Oh, that's a good power-up. Um, more Shadow Spell, there it is. I missed, missed it by one, man. Uh, we did get Fiend Castle, though, which is in uh, one of my decks, so that'll help there. Um, what time are we at, by the way? Okay. Alright. Alright, so let's take him again. Uh, yeah. Yeah, man, that duel was crazy, bro. <laughs> Almost just outright lost, you know. From that uh, repro of the cards move. Yeah. Alright. We get here. Hmm. I like this start a lot better. Let's see. So let's go here. Um. I doubt he'll attack it first turn. But let's just move Amoeba uh, up forward there. Yeah. Okay, good, good. That makes me feel a little comfortable. He's playing a card behind him. Okay, so we'll flip Amoeba up, because I really do want him to attack it. And... Let's... Let's move... Up here. And then let's move Tears of the Mermaid right here. Yeah. That way, like, hopefully he's encouraged to summon right here and attack. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping. No, okay, he moved. Alright. Not a problem, not a problem. Once again, let's see if these are traps. And luckily he's going to this side, so... Okay, tears for tears. Oh man, this tier elements format. Watch out, guys. <laughs> tier zero. Uh, ooh, we can make stone bee or metal dragon. Um, let's just go with... Uh, now, well, once again, he's moving, like, all the way over here, so I don't think he'll attack Amoeba. Um, so, yeah, I think what I'll do is here is make Stone D. Um, and I'll try to encourage him to keep moving this way. And I guess we'll move Amoeba right here in front of us. Um, if he does kill it, I don't think we'll, you know, we'll lose, like, all of our life points. But, you know... Okay, good. Yeah, he did. Good, good, good. Yeah, so next turn I'll probably move Amoeba up next to Tears, and then we'll play a card right here. Um, ooh, another Amoeba. Okay, okay, good, good. Uh, so yeah, let's just do just that. Let's move here. With the, this Amoeba. Let's move Stone D alongside him there. And then, again, we want to encourage him to attack. So, let's get rid of this other Amoeba. I'm actually going to get rid of the secret, secret Remedy right there. Try to draw some better Flood cards. There you go. Oh, well darn. We activated the Shadow Spell. Okay. Probably got a monster there. He did. Ooh, yeah. King of Yami Makai. Not bad, not bad. Let me grab a shrink right here. Get a gun! Fire! <laughs> Did he say garlic? Aw, oh, Stony. I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah, 
hopefully he'll attack right here to Amoeba. Um, hmm. Let's see. Not too much I got going on here, honestly. Um, hmm. Yeah, honestly, my hand's not too good. So at this point, I may just want to back off. Um, hmm. Let's move this here. And I guess while we have a chance, let's reposition this amoeba um, in case he does attack. Uh, let's move it right here. That's what I'm thinking, because he may try to come for my deck later. So, yeah, let's just do that. Let's just do that in the turn. Oh, okay, he's staying in the forest. Building some strong monsters now. Good, good. He did attack it. Okay. So maybe next turn we can draw a strong uh, card like Aqua Dragon and uh, counter attack. Alright, that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> this guy does look like he's using the attack in Dragon Ball Z though. Oh man, especially with like the, the Yami field. How, how it looks like it's almost like we're fighting in space, man. <laughs> Next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> uh, speaking of that, I am doing a uh, let's play of uh, you know Legacy of Goku 2. If you're interested in that, pretty fun, pretty fun. Okay, well, he is down to 2,000. The problem is, yeah, Shadow Spell's right behind him, and I know it. Is. I know it's a Shadow Spell, so... Even if I do draw something that can beat him, which I did, Kairushin, um, I can't exactly attack him. Um, I will go with Kairushin in attack mode, and hopefully he just attacks. Um, hmm. In fact, to encourage him to attack... Let's move Amoeba again, right here, and hopefully he just he just slides right over. So, uh, okay, do that, and we'll end the turn. All right. Hmm. Okay, good, good, good. All right. All right, King of Yami Makai, your time has come, buddy. Time to defeat you once and for all. Looks like we're almost at about 20 minutes or so. Your Gallic gun is strong, but how will you handle my surf attack? Let's make you experience high tide! <laughs> Alright, and we finally meet his deck leader, King of Yami Makai. Alright, and we got plenty of water on the field too, so I definitely feel a lot safer now that we've gotten rid of some of the Yami terrain. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. I think, um... So Shadow Spill's still there. Hmm. Let's see what we drew here. Fury Seeking. Not too bad. That can create more water. Um... Hmm. Let's see what he's got in front of us. For some reason, I feel like this is a monster. Um... Should I use... Well, no, I already moved off, of course. Let's just attack. Oh, it is a monster, yeah. I was right. Unfortunately, Fury Sea King is not strong enough, but... Uh... Okay, okay. I don't feel too bad about this, though. Because, like, even if it was... Uh... Yeah, I was actually just assuming it was a trap, and I was just going to move um, Kairushin over it. But this works, too, honestly. We won't lose, you know, too many life points from this maneuver, so... And now there's more water terrain. 
<laughs> that cutter looks actually really small. Tall, man. This guy usually likes to use a lot of monsters with a sickle attack blade. For sure. And, and yeah, now that there's plenty of water everywhere, uh, I definitely feel a lot safer, you know, because this guy is pretty weird with how he moves his leader and stuff, uh, but I definitely feel a lot safer um, <clears throat> being as close to him as I am. So, because his, uh, his fiends can't move twice on the, uh, on the sea terrain. Uh, he doesn't have movement boost for friendlies, does he? Actually, after this battle, I should definitely check, so... Attaboy. Okay. Uh, and actually, I think Amoeba will be safe to move up. Yeah. Move up. Um, yeah, because, like, even if he moves here and summons here, he can't move too. So, let's move forward. Yeah, let's move forward now that we've spread all the sea terrain. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, and he's just summoning to the side there. Huh. His life points are actually wide open here. Um, hmm. So depending on what we draw, we just won. Uh, oh, okay. That, that is enticing. Um, okay. Well, let's summon our deck leader here. Main of the Aqua. Um, I don't know if we can win this turn, but I'm going to try, guys. I'm going to give it the good old college try. So we'll Aqua Chorus. Let's check with our deck leader. 1300. I think we won. Uh, yeah. Wow. All right. Cool. GG. Darkness roller. GG, buddy. <laughs> All right. You win. Hmm. And for a long duel, he doesn't have too much in the graveyard, surprisingly. Uh, I guess... Huh, maybe I should go after King of Yami Makai? Because there should still be two in the graveyard. Um... Oh, I got Fiend Castle. Oh, that's okay. We can aim for that, too. For a three in a row. Uh... Ooh, I barely missed it. Okay. Um... Darn. <laughs> I didn't do too good at the slots in this episode, but it's all good. <clears throat> we did get two more copies of Fiend Castle, so... Uh, okay, guys, well, with that being done, I th think... Let's see what time we're at. I think I'll probably just end the episode here. Um, hmm... Okay, yeah, two more Fiend Castles, so I got four. Um, yeah, and there, there are some cards, like, I do want to, you know, mix around with and uh, add to the decks, like Mesmeric Control. Um, so, yeah, that sounds good. All right, let's end it here. All right, guys, well, appreciate you for joining me. And uh, I, I think I'll, I plan to record, like, one more tonight. Uh, so, yeah. Um, but next episode, also, do we have a reincarnation soon? Because I, I think we needed three duels. Um, so we might just need, like, one more duel? Let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah, we do, actually. So, I think what I'll do is I'll probably try to get another turn count versus, like, uh, Rex. Rex Raptor. And then, uh, yeah, we'll start the next episode with a reincarnation. And then we'll do, like, eh, one or two more duels. So, all right, guys. Appreciate you. See you all the next time. All right.